RCA Victor and its dealers present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. He was gone. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't have it. Well, I think he had it, but I, I think he knew better. I think he knew that he shouldn't tempt me, so he didn't. Oh, it would be fun to go, wouldn't it? Wouldn't you love to be in Paris right now? Paris in April. I'll wait till I can go with you, though, because you're an old seasoned traveler. Oh, now. I'm not either. Oh, yes, you are. No, I you forgot know all the nice I places forgot to go. All about how to get taxi cabs. I don't even know what a franc is worth anymore. Really? I don't remember anything about it. Not anything. I'll bet you could get a taxi cab. Just supposing that we needed a taxi cab. Oh, very badly. And we're in Paris now. What would you do? How would you get it? Yeah, I don't know anything. Like that. I go, uh. Taxi! Would he stop? He might. <laughs> he might if, uh. You mind if he, if he didn't have anybody in the cab? He might. <laughs> oh, I don't think you'd have a bit of worry at all. Oh, you know, I'm too bad that we don't have some of those April and Paris songs cleared because I could really sing them today. From the heart? Yes, from the heart. Hello, hello, Hi. hello, hello, hello. Hey, guess what? What? You'd better all get on your toes. Something What's very what? serious has happened. What? Oh, this is not a day for serious very things. Very serious. I don't tend to worry at all. Do you have a copy of the schedule? What schedule is it? The schedule for the show. You know, day by day what we do. Do you have one? Well, I guess I have one on my desk. I didn't really look Why at it. Why don't you it. go and look? And come back and tell me what it says. Have you looked? No, I couldn't. I was down to train today. I know. I heard all about it. Go look at your schedule. You want to hear it from me, Cook, or you want to look at your own schedule? Uh-oh! Could what it be? What about him? He's downstairs in costume. I feel pretty bad about him. Well, I do too. How can, how can... How long ago was it we had the Bohemian Girl scheduled? Well, we thought about it, you know, last year. We said we'd do it every year. And, but, you know, every year, I try to put it off for another year. And... He's all in costume and ready. He's going to be in it and direct it today, he said. <laughs> well, said, I knew it was Ollie, old boy, why aren't you in costume? Well, what did you say? Uh, I said I was getting into it right away. That's no way. No, we can't no, do it. can't do that. We can't do the Bohemian Girl. I knew that it, well, I, I didn't know that it was today. I knew it was sometime in the future, but I thought he'd be so busy that he'd forget about it. Couldn't we, couldn't we get his mind off the subject some way? Couldn't we talk about his hobby or something? I'll ask him about his father. Yeah, ask him about his father. And, and, oh, I have a little poem I can read. And the eggplant, too. Yes, the eggplant. I hope you can do it, kids. I just hope so. What I shall I do? Shall I, uh, shall I go and get the little poem so as to be... Oh. 
Warn everybody. Uh, I'll tell everybody to just keep off the subject. Tell Beulah. She'll think of something. Yeah, tell Beulah. I'll get the point. Dear, now, this is terrible. I really... Jack. Yeah. Don't play one chord from Bohemian Girl. I'm with you on don't, that. Just don't, don't bring it up at all. Don't even, don't even think about it. <laughs> oh, dear. Come with your hippie bride. Everybody on the stage, please. Everybody on the stage. Oh, oh, Francis, ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh, Francis. Brother, you're the very one I wanted to see. Well, everybody in the... I wanted to Why aren't you in costume? Oh, come, oh, come. Well, I couldn't get into a costume oh, in a well, minute. Well, let's just... No. Oh, well, I wanted well, to tell you, dear. Hey, yeah, hey, away. You don't know, Fletcher, how much I've missed you. Oh, well, but I'm But I have been trying to do your work in the mail department, and believe me, I know now what you went through. And I'd like to check schedules with you as soon as I can, because I know you're going to be able to help me on yes, a little Francis, thing. Yes, but after today's In the meantime, because... I wanted to uh, tell you, you remember Carrie Warenrath. Oh, Carrie, yes, very she well. She sent you such a beautiful poem. Oh, that's nice. She said, Dear Fletcher, as a mailman, this is such a beautiful rhyme scheme, and that you'll love it. Mm -hmm. As a mailman, you are grand. As a Easter bunny, you are swell. But I love you just as you are, Fletcher Rabbit, that's all. I just think it's so beautiful, I think I'll read it again. As a mailman, oh, Fran, you oh, by are the way, grand. You like... As an Easter bunny, you are swell. I... But I love you just as you are, Fletcher Rabbit. That's all. Well, that's a lovely poem. And she's going... Wearing, right? she's going to be prouder than ever of me after she sees me perform in the Bohemian Girl today. Come with the gypsy bride. And why aren't you in costume? Come, 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 come. Costume, 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 costume. Well, we were going to help each I... other with the costumes, uh, weren't yeah, we? Yes. And Fletcher, we can't... Uh, you know, today, um, um, Fletcher, by the way, I, um, uh, um, um, where is your RCA Victor uh, 45 record player? Oh, pack? yes, we were just saying a few minutes ago. It sounds we wonder where Fletcher's... Uh, well, yes, right. no, well, Fletcher, I do have to have it right this very minute, if you don't mind. We were just saying a few minutes ago, we know we can depend on Fletcher. Wouldn't we do it after the uh, first act? Well, well, well right I, now, I think it would be the right time. Better get it off before the first act. Give me a hand, then, and let's be snappy about it. <laughs> oh, I knew you had it. Oh, Fletcher. you could always depend on Fletcher. I always keep my fine RCA Victor 45 RPM record playing attachment right where, right where I can put my paws on it. Well, that's you what we bet. said. Oh, I love this. You know, this is really a very handsome, very handsome little machine. Well, we said a few minutes ago, we're going to ask Fletcher how he feels about his little record pack. Well, Isn't that what we said? That's what we said. How do you feel about I, it? I will just fine. But I'll tell you in just a moment, because first of all, let's get into the first act. I'll tell you right after the show. We can have a, a cup of cocoa and talk a little bit after the show. Well, I'd like to know right now. You would, hmm? Well, all right. Well, I feel very wonderful about it. After all, it's less than a foot square, and it has the world's finest changer. Yes. Well, Fran, you know all about the 45. But I love to hear it. Well, it plays 14 records for up to an hour of the finest listening. Yes. And this, uh, this uh, operating changer is just about, well, it's the easiest, surest operating one in the entire business. You know that. Mm -hmm. yes. One operating control for on, off, and reject functions. Mm -hmm. Permanent point, a pickup here, right here on the arm. You see on the tone arm, mm -hmm. no needle changing. That means less pressure, less wear on records. And uh, there is a fine a new pickup guard, which is designed with wide clearance. Lengthy, lengthy power cord here, very long, mm -hmm. which is a very, very handy thing to have, you know, mm -hmm. because it gives you an, a nice stretch where you can put this on any table and reach your outlet. And it's AC operation, and the price is $16.75. Come with a jihipsy bride and repair to the fair. Uh, Come with a jihipsy bride and repair to the fair. Uh, one more thing, uh, Fletcher. Uh, the other day, you know, when the, the Lady String Trio met, Yes, Madame well, Oglepuss should be in costume. Well, we, Madame Oglepuss, are you uh, going to... We were talking about how wonderful it would be if we... Is he gone? What was it, Francis? We were saying how wonderful it would be if we had another violin. And I said at the time... and you Kukla plays the violin very no, well. we thought of you, Fletcher. And I said, well, if there's going to be a second fiddle, it should be Fletcher. And so I just wondered how you'd feel about that. Oh, well, just fine, but not right now. I, uh, where are you going, Cooper? Getting into costume. Well, I'll look up my costume, too. Fletcher. Well, fine, see you fine. Later. Well, this is really grand. My, my. Well, we're going to get into it very soon, folks, and I hope that you're really going to enjoy it. Francis? Yes? Did you get rid of Fletcher yet? Honest, we got it. Hello there, did you get... I don't know what you can be speaking about. Neither do I. I, don't, I never saw you before in my life. 
she, <laughs> I guess she, she'd had the string trio in mind, and she just wondered what kind of an answer I'd been able to get uh, from you concerning the addition of uh, another violin. Well, Francis, you, look me in the eye. You know you can't fib to me. Fletcher, I'll tell you very honestly, I can get into my costume. I won't do my part very well, but I knew we had it scheduled for that. Well, I didn't know which day it was, but I did know that it was to be done, and it was just that I got very busy. I don't think any of us realized how much work you did around here, and since you haven't been here as much lately, it just makes it more difficult for those of us who are here because we have to try to do what you've been doing all year, and we don't do it very well. Francis. Would you mind if I just try to pull myself together by myself? I. Oh, you don't mind. I'm sorry. On the day I was born, said my father, said he, as an elegant legacy waiting. Is a rhyme for your lips and a song for your heart to sing it whenever the world falls apart. Look, look, look to the rainbow, follow it over the hill and looking for a home. So are the 99 other puppies who'll be going home with the 100 boys and girls who win them in RCA Victor's Little Nipper Contest. And 1,000 other lucky boys and girls will win a wonderful 10 and 1 half inch lifelike model of Little Nipper himself. All you have to do is answer Little Nipper's riddles on his latest record entitled Little Nipper March and Little Nipper Riddles. Then write in 25 words or less why you would like a live little nipper puppy in your home. So go to your RCA Victor dealer today. Get all the little nipper contest details and help one of those 100 little puppies to find a home with you. The musical director of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Fascinato. The producer is Beulah Zachary. The director is Louis Gomovitz. The costume designer is Joseph Lockwood. And the technical director is John Natalie. And this is Bert Hilston. Fletch, I'm ready to rehearse. RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in television, first in recorded music. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> 